Hi right, guys, well this is a bit different for you all. Um, I'm actually painting. Um, I've got, as you can see, I've got them primed. I used um, Travis tip there for satin varnish first on the resin and then the primer on top. Um, and in the second, we'll see um, them base coated. Uh, one of the things I did to help me prime them, especially where the uh, resin parts were concerned, because they're because they're magnetized. I put a little magnet on a bit of cocktail stick and um, that helped me um, uh, try to what's the name? spray all around it, get everywhere I can. There are areas which are, um, which you might be able to see there nearly, where the spray couldn't uh, get. So as I've been doing with the uh, Marines at the back with the bodies, I've been going over them with some more um, black undercoats. Undercoat? <laughs> Undercoat. Um, it's an old bottle now, I suppose. But I've um, been going through that, just going all the, uh, all the areas where the, the spray couldn't hit the sun, and I'll be just doing the bases in a second, and I'll be onto these. And then the, the base coat, so we'll be back Hi in guys. a second. Well, there's a bit of a junk cut here from uh, the uh, primed to the fully painted. Um, I was up against it, really. Um, I had to rush to get these done, but I ended up missing um, going to suit. Something came up, and uh, I just couldn't get down to suit to give them to Nick in time, but uh, he knows about that now. So it's going to be posted off today. Um, I had took some, taste some photographs, but uh, already and sent them over to uh, Nick on the Help for Heroes thing, and um, he's put them on the website. But um, because I I'd forgotten to matte coat them, uh, well, uh, not matte coat, sat and varnish them. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to add a bit of detail which I had left out, which is a little bit of um, uh, scroll stuff on the uh, what you call it <laughs> on the purity seals. So um, what we'll do is have a little look at each miniature and um, cause I had actually recorded this beforehand, it was a rush video as well and I'd missed that load of stuff which I'd done. So we'll have a look at each in turn and uh, see what I've done. And we'll start with the sergeant, so he's, um, this is vet, um, squad probis they're called and um, they were they're, they're the 11th squad to be uh, uh, out of the list of uh, models to be painted for it for this um army they were the 11th one so that's why i've got 11 written on the shoulder pad here so i think we'll zoom in yes yes there we are so a little bit of freehand i wanted to do a bit more but um because i don't have much time i've um end up using transfers for the other models so we've got on there Devastator squad symbol there and the 11 for 11th squad there and then you can see doo -doo -doo, a little bit of scribbly scribbles on the parchment um, one thing I forgot to mention last time was if you just see it in these eyes let's get that light there yeah, was well, a little bit of green paint in the eyes it's a bit hard to see with this damn thing <laughs> anyway there's some green in there and a little bit around the edges, tiny amount, just a tiny amount. Um, I couldn't um, afford to spend too much time on these, so I've just gone for very basic um, highlighting of just a, on, on the armour, just a, just the first highlight really. They are meant to a basic squad, so um, that doesn't matter too much I suppose. They're not meant to stand out more than a uh, character model. Did a little bit of freehand there, that's the only way I could read on this. Um, it's a bit hard to tell because it's white. There's a bit of a sort of sponging and stippling of white over a lighter blue colour here, and then uh, freehanded the U and the skull on. I was going to have a, a laurel going around it, a blue laurel go around a U, but I painted it too low down on the shoulder pad. Um, and then afterwards, I thought I might as well add the little red skull in. It should really be in the middle, but uh, it makes it different. The, the, the part of the idea was, in case you haven't watched the other videos, was that um, th these guys have earned uh, a right of wearing some old armour which would have been used in the battle for Kaos and um, in, during the Horse Heresy and that kind of thing. So that's why they've got some iron armour. So they've, <coughs> they've proved themselves uh, worthy of wearing some old armour. Fallen heroes and that kind of thing. Um, what else can I say? What else can I show? A little bit there. A little bit there on the... Oh, I could just about see that. Get my stupid sound out of the way. A kind of... Uh, Almost a quiller. I used um, a pen. If I zoom out, whoop. an old um, brush pen, which I've had for years now. And um, 
It's got an ink cartridge in there. And it's made by Pentel. Pentel. <laughs> um, I just remember I had that, so I scribbled that on there. Um, I, I would have used a, what's the name? A kind of a small marker, fine line pen if I had one, but um, they've all dried out. Um, also, oh yeah, done a little bit of weathering, you see that on the others there. Another bit of parchment. Just to tie the boots into the, <coughs> and the model into the environment. It's supposed to be a sort of rocky base and, and that, so it makes a bit more sense that they've got some dirt on their boots. Um, so I kept it to a minimum, so they weren't meant to be sort of cleanly done. Um, oh yeah, plasma pistol, I like the look of that. Nice little bit of dry brush in there, I should say. Oh yeah, and also on the uh, the barrel. Um, I'd actually paint, started a, so I was painting metals, I, I did the dry brush, the dry brush at the end before I painted the red. And then I painted a bit of, uh, after I painted the red, um, I dry brushed a bit of gold there. Just give it a little bit of a tarnished, very quick tarnished effect. Like I said, the, the, uh, I had to stop myself from spending too much time on them. Because they're meant to be a basic squad. Because in the past when I've painted models, I'd painted them right up to the, you know, a lot of highlights and they'd be right up to the very uh, um, edge highlighted, brightest colour almost. Um, when really they were just meant to be like an ordinary squad. Oh yes, almost forgot that. I managed to get that on there. Not too great. There. It says Probis H4H about in fact is I can actually put a little bit of a line on there oh, I'm on camera because I just realised that that's not quite right just get that in there on my breath that's a bit better <laughs> it's just a little little bit of a line on there which didn't quite look right there on the bottom of that H, this H. Anyway, um, what else have we got on? Um, so the lenses are, I've done, I haven't put these sort of dark sort of shading with a jewel like thing, and I kept them looking sort of glowing. So I'd have to see that on my camera, the little minutes thing going on that on there, a little bit green on there. I kept it, um, because they're a fourth, fourth company, so they've got green markings for their shoulder pads. I kept it the, the colours mainly just to um, <coughs> the blue, the gold, um, tarnished gold uh, colours, um, <coughs> red and green. So by keeping the palette restricted, uh, it, it didn't look too mishmashed. You've got all the same colours being used. So green for little pipes and things. Pipes there, pipes there, and all of that. So that's the sergeant. That's quite a lot. Oh yeah, um, and. There's a little bit of blue shading added on the stripe. So I realised that I'd painted the red and shaded it. Um, <clears throat> and then I painted that stripe and there was no shading there, so I'd add a bit on there to do that. Oh, it's quite a lot of speaking here. Um, so hey, let's go with the this launcher guy. Let's come out a bit. Um, I found that it would be completely impossible and, and Mind numbing, <coughs> breaking. If I to try and add either a cut out decal to, for the chevron of the devastator on this arm, or to paint it on, um, they are magnetized. So boop. that was mainly due to um, the fact that I, I didn't trust them surviving the trip in the post. Because <coughs> um, uh, they, they'd have to be super glued on, so in case they snapped, all that kind of thing. I had that on there. What else did I do? So instead, I painted the on their knee, which makes sense. I've done that to the other guy. You'll see that. Um, I paint because I, I, I had a bit more time again. I painted a little uh, devastator symbol on the gun. I didn't put too much in case I cock it up because it's all painted and hard. I don't want to keep painting over it. There's a little bit of uh, glow effect on the eye. There. When I, when I did the eyes. Um, I just dropped in uh, some diluted uh, red. How oh, is it now? <laughs> it was Mephiston red, stuff like that. Yeah, the basic red. Just dropped it in into the eye. 
you know, instead of trying to paint it carefully like it just and just let it dry so there is um some red oh you can see it on the left eye there and then i just paint a little thin line of red around it just to give it the impression of a glow um sometimes i see when people do rsl for the eyes they or other glowing effects they paint all around um things um but when you've got like a detail which overhangs it um, whereas in reality that overhanging it like this band would cause a shadow so that so that the light would actually be under there oh you can just see that eye oh, yeah it would be actually under there instead so I've just kept that little red glow around the rim of the uh, helmet it's a little tip there it's a little tip um, <laughs> oh another little tip um, some of the paints I had they were new but they were quite lumpy so what I did was I used Tamiya thinners um, I drop it in there and just give it a stir and add a few drops at a bit of time and it just revitalizes the paint. I've done it with some really thick paint as well, which seemed like it was dried out, some like the uh, the old these type of bottles even. Um, just get some Tamiya thinners, drop it on there, but get a cocktail stick and jab it and poke it and, and uh, until it all starts to get back to being thin and uh, you've got your pot of paint back.